Welcome to Wrong Time Watch. My name is Kevin, and today we have uh, 14 watches here for sale. Uh, Jack had asked about uh, me doing another watch sale, and uh, a great reminder. So let's get these uh, watches out here on display. So first one, uh, kind of going in alphabetical order here. Uh, first one is the Aquilos Abyss. $225, comes with a box, uh, NATO, and then this uh, rubber strap, and also comes on this uh, shark mesh bracelet. It's rated to 500 meter water resistance. I believe it has a Seiko NH35 movement. It's been a while since I've uh, presented this one on the channel. It just says automatic movement, but I'm pretty sure it's a Seiko NH35. Um, I'll put that in the information in the description below. So $225 for this one. And if you're interested, shoot me an email, wrongtimewatch at gmail.com. Prices will include shipping. Uh, these are all my watches. Uh, you can see here I have possession of all of them. Okay, next, uh, Armida A12. It comes in this uh, kind of a, I think it's a water resistant case. It's kind of a cool case. Um, all of these, I believe all of these have uh, watch boxes. If not, I will note that, but I'm pretty sure they all come with a box. So this comes with a rubber strap, which I've never worn, and then comes on the uh, H-Link bracelet here. It has a ratchet clasp, a nice system there. 38 millimeter by 48, uh, $425. These are currently, it looks like they're out of stock or discontinued from the Armida website. Um, so $425 for that. If you wanna shoot me an offer, uh, go ahead and email me with your offer. I'm not really looking for trades at this point. I just have way too many watches. I would like to sell some of them off. Just don't have time to wear them all. We have one wrist, well, two wrists, but I don't double wrist. Uh, okay, let's go on to the next one, uh, Borealis Neptuno. I actually have two Borealis watches here. Come in the leather cases. Uh, okay, this is the Neptuno. I've never worn it, uh, bought it, I never wore it, so. Still on the... Um, what we're trying to say here the protective is coating is to, uh, yeah the plastic is still on the bracelet there so 275 dollars for this this has the seiko nh38 movement so true no date movement kind of a snowflake or an ice dial a cool dial so uh, again 275 dollars for this one like i said i'll have all that information down in the description below as well and then we have the Borealis Sea Storm Pepsi GMT. I only really wore this one for video and pictures. Um, so this one and the other Borealis are essentially like new, other than the fact I took the plastic off of this one and had it on wrist for video. This has the Seiko NH34 movement, so $325 for this. And that is a bi-directional bezel, uh, sorry, unidirectional. It only goes in one direction. It is not bi-directional. So kind of a cool bezel. Um, it has that donut shape to it. This uh, sapphire bezel, sapphire crystal. So $325 for that. Yeah, I'll... Uh, Packages up real good for shipping. All right, let's get these ones off to the side here. What's next? The Moki Mod Watch. I'm not sure why I bought this, um, but anyway, I did a video on it. It comes with this black bracelet. I never wore it on the bracelet. I had it on a FKM rubber strap. Um, Seiko NH36 movement, sapphire crystal, ceramic bezel insert. Cool looking watch. Um, just not 
uh, a black metal watch type guy. I prefer my watches, my metal watches, to look like metal watches. But yeah, nice, nicely done mod watch here. There's a dual time bezel insert. So, two hundred fifty dollars for this one. Okay, so this does not have a case. So. Um, Everything else I think has a case, but this never came with one, so $250 for that. Uh, this other watch has been in my collection for a long time. Where the heck did I put? Oh, here it is. 9-4 Successor, $150. Again, only wore this for pictures and video, so no marks on it. It's one of the first micro brand watches with the integrated uh, style bracelet case. This has a Seiko, I think it's the NH35 movement, um, sapphire crystal. Cool looking watch. I just never wear it. Um, so 150 bucks for that. I paid more for that, so I should pay a lot more than that for it. But whatever, that's the way it goes. I'll be losing money on this one. 150 bucks for you. A San Martin. So I have two of these. San Martin. Um, it's called the SN007 now. I don't think that's what these were called. But uh, if you look up the model, SN007, that's what these are. So this one is $100. I'm not sure if that's a, a factory bracelet or not, but uh, cool looking bracelet. And then it comes with the rubber strap here. Comfortable rubber strap. So $100 for this. I have another one here. Oops. Put that back in there. So let me know which one you want. This one I think is an aftermarket bracelet, and this one is a factory bracelet. And this one will be 125. The other one has a little bit of wear on it, um, like surface type wear. You might be able to buff it out. I don't know. But this one comes with the unworn. Uh, factory bracelet. This, you can see there, Stan Martin. And that's how I package it up there. And then I wore this on the rubber strap for a little bit. Uh, very comfortable on this strap. So this one's $125. I'm not exactly sure how I, how I ended up with two of them. Well, I'm obviously I bought two of them. I don't know why I bought two of them. I don't think I had knew I had the other one when I bought this one or however that worked out. So. 125 bucks for this one. Uh, I gotta make sure I put the bracelet in here good. Something's not allowing me to close that. There we go. So those were the San Martins. Um, okay, this is a real nice Seiko GMT. I like this watch. I probably should keep it, but uh, I'm just. I'm just in a sales mode right now, so I'll be selling this one as well. $850 for this. It comes with the case and everything, of course. Um, I really don't see any defects or anything on this one either. I think it's in pretty good shape. Yeah, I really don't see anything wrong with this. This is the... I forgot the movement, but it's the um, actual... Traveler's GMT movement it has the jump hour hand. So I can wind it here. The power reserve, uh, day, date indicator down there. So as I'm winding it, you can see the power reserve moving up. Very cool looking dial here. Kind of a, uh, like it's almost like a snowflake, like a geometric snowflake type pattern, if that makes sense. But here I'll show you, it has the jump hour hand too. So see that hand jumping around. A uh, very neat feature. So it's a true GMT. $850 for this. Comes with all the links and everything. Uh, next one, Stova Antia Classic. Very little wear on this watch. I do not see any signs of wear on this thing. I think there's still a little bit, yeah, the the point glass still has some plastic on here, so uh, not much wear with this watch at all. This is the Antia Classic 
Stova and Tia Classic 365 uh, comes with the wood box with the, the strap, obviously, uh, with the deployant clasp. And this is $950. I think they're over $1,200 uh, US dollars. So I get a pretty good discount on that there. And it's here in the US. Don't have to worry about the international shipping. So. Yeah, actually, because anything over $800, you have to pay the uh, customs, the uh, import fees and all that. So you don't have to do that for me because I'm shipping it to you from the USA as a private party. So $950 bucks for this one. It has the hand-winding movement. It's a very cool-looking watch. German Bauhaus styling. It has the Salita SW210 hand winding movement which is based off the Salita SW200. So $950 there. Again it comes with the box, the wood box. It almost looks like particle wood. It's a weird kind of wood box but uh, it says it's made in the Black Forest. Um, let's see here. Yema Pearl Diver. That's this guy here. I think I, yeah, only a little bit on the clasp. If you can see that, just a little bit of wear on the clasp. And everything else I think is uh, good on this watch. I Most of these watches I really only wear for video, uh, maybe for a week on wrist, uh, very gently, but uh, plexiglass on this one. This has the Yema, I think it's the 2000 movement, so it's the in-house Yema movement. Uh, $450 for this one. And again, it comes with the Yama leather case. And I have another Yama here for sale. The Yama uh, Superman World Time GMT with the steel bezel. I'll give you 800 bucks for this one. Unidirectional bezel. It has the locking crown system here too. Signed screw down crown. I think this is 300 meter water resistant. Dive extension comes with the leather case as well. I think I think this one comes with a rubber strap too. I'll I'll have all that information in the description below. Um, so yeah, this is this is a cool watch too. Uh, and this has the Yema, I believe it's the Yema 3000 movement. So in-house movement, uh, made in France, sapphire crystal. So eight hundred dollars for this one. And then I do have another Yama here, another Superman. Uh, this one has a little bit of wear to it. Uh, this one here, really no wear that I could see. Uh, so pretty much like new. This one does have some scuffing going on with it. Nothing too crazy. I don't think there's any deep scratches. Oh, I think they're back there. It's something right there. So this one, 775 is what I'm asking for it. But uh, feel free to uh, send me a um, send me an email with your offer. Sapphire bezel insert, sapphire crystal, and has that locking system there, and it's unidirectional as well. Real nice looking indices on this one, and a real nice cool blue dial. Bracelet may have some scuffing on those polished surfaces too. So, and this also comes with the leather case. And pretty sure this one also has a rubber strap too. Uh, like I said, I'll put that information in the description. Uh, Seven seventy-five for that Yama Superman Heritage Blue. And this one might actually have a ETA movement. I'll be sure to include that in the video description. Okay, went through almost all of them rather quickly here. And the last one is uh, most expensive. Omega Seamaster Professional Divers 300. Uh, whatever the name for this is. The ceramic bezel insert course, helium escape valve. 300 meter water resistant. Yeah, this one comes with the box and on the factory bracelet here. This is a little bit of wear and tear on it. 
um, I think right there in the lug it's got some stuff going on there in the lug and uh, I can email you pictures too if you send me an email I have uh, more detailed pictures of all these watches I can uh, shoot you an email uh, if you want me to take a picture of any particular area more than happy to do that I think there's a little flea bite uh, yeah right there kind of a little nick there too so three thousand six hundred dollars for this watch uh, comes with the box like I said uh, the has a cardboard box and then a nice wood box and the uh, flap on the cardboard box is uh, torn off for whatever reason but uh, it's, it'll be included and here's a look at that movement it has all the links and everything too gorgeous movement there here's a look at it on my wrist and uh, like I said I'll have in the description all the uh, information for these a little bit apprehensive about selling this in some of the other ones but I just gotta you know rip the band-aid off and start selling some watches so I will again have all the information in the description send me an email uh, wrongtimewatch at gmail.com and that will conclude this video as always Thank you for your time and thank you for watching.